God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the Talk Radio Protégé. This is the Protégé Program. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got a pretty brief video. <laughs> I feel like every time I say this is a brief video, it ends up being 20 minutes long. But uh, I, I'm planning on this one being very, very brief. So the second quarter, 2018, GDP growth at 4.1%. Trump is making the American economy roar again. This is fantastic news. The, the highest that the GDP has been in 10 years quarterly, to my knowledge. Now, I had heard a stat running around out there that Obama didn't have 3% GDP growth in a single quarter of his presidency. I might have to revise that. I think it, it might have been a single year of his presidency. Because two sources, at least, have claimed that Obama had 4% GDP growth in at least one quarter of 2014. CNBC in this exact story and CNN in a uh, related report that they did earlier today. So let the record show that I w will be corrected. If, if necessary, I'm willing to admit when I uh, was wrong. And if I s quoted for you that Obama didn't have a single quarter of 3% or higher GDP growth, and he did in fact have one in 2014, then I was wrong. And, uh, and, and that's the facts of the matter. Now, I haven't went back and done my research, re-looked at the numbers to make sure that I didn't miss something. I'm just telling you, I heard at one point that there was not a single quarter of 3% or more GDP growth, and now I'm hearing that there was a quarter of 4% GDP growth. So, that all being said, fantastic news for the economy. Things are sailing right along, and future quarters are looking to be even better. One of the things that is said to be driving the 4% number this quarter is sales. Businesses sold out of their backup stock, some of them did, this quarter. And production is uh, rumored to be getting set to ramp out the wazoo in preparation for, uh, in preparation for the next quarter. So that's going to drive GDP numbers even higher. Last story that I want to talk to you about, according to Axios, GD, the GOP has the toughest electoral map they've had in 88 years. Now, I'm going to show you what they quote from a guy named David Wasserman, and I'll let you decide if this is the toughest map in 88 years. Now, they show some of the statistics. Republicans have 42 incumbent-less seats. Now, that means that there's that uh, the Republicans that were holding those seats are retiring. 13 of which are in districts in which President Trump received less than 55%. Eight are in districts that voted for Hillary Clinton. Uh, in 20 of the 42 seats, the leading Democrat raised more than the leading Republican. In seven of the eight, Clinton carried districts. And in 13 of the 34, Trump carried seats. David's ratings, David Wasserman's ratings for the 42 Republican open seats are three likely Democrat, five lean Democrat, four toss-up, seven lean Republican, four likely Republican, and 19 solid Republican. Now, you tell me if that sounds like a tough map to you. He's, they, uh, Axios points out uh, right here, Democrats need to flip 23 seats to take the House. But the only ones that they are that, that are not likely to go to Republicans are 12. Does that sound like a tough map to you? 12 of 23. That's just uh, just over half. And let's say that the Republicans only got the likely and solid Republican seats. That would still only be 20 out of 23 seats. Now, that's not a dominant majority in the House of Representatives, but it's not like the Democrats have smooth sailing to get back to uh, controlling the House. Even if the blue wave were to happen, according to David Wasserman's estimate, the Democrats would not regain control of the House. So maybe this is the GOP's toughest map in 88 years, but if this is the toughest map they've faced in 88 years, I don't see how things could go that poorly. 
But then again, I'm just a redneck recording videos for YouTube on his phone and sometimes on his computer. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was short, like I promised. I hope that you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Come back and join us next time for a new report. That's going to be next week. Next week is going to be all pre-recorded videos. There will be no brand new uh, coverage next week because I am going to be on vacation taking a long break. Uh, we, I plan on doing some kind of recap video uh, two weeks from now to cover everything that I missed, uh, that I will have missed next week. But uh, I, I think you're going to enjoy next week's content. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss those videos. And hit the bell for notifications. You never know what shenanigans are going on over at YouTube these days. Again, thank you so much for watching. Go and have a fantastic weekend. Until next time, good night and God bless.